All right, so before Workhorse comes out here to install our new automatic press, I have to have our compressor installed and ready to go. And so this thing weighs like 650 pounds and it's on a pallet. I toyed around, this is a pretty stupid idea, but I toyed around with the idea of leaving it on the pallet. That way I could, you know, it's bolted down to it. That way I could like, you know, move it if I have to. Um, but I, I'm guessing it's just gonna slide around all over the place. All right, this unit doesn't weigh near as much as I thought it did. I think uh, I watched a video and essentially what these people did was unbolted it and then used a couple guys to just kind of tilt it and rotate it off of the pallet and then tilt it off, get the pallet out of the way, and then you're home free. So I was get a couple of guys out here to help me and we should be able to get leave this on the pallet. Guys, are you kidding me? That would be so stupid. Um, got it off the pallet. I'm about to put in some wedge anchors using my Milwaukee and uh, my electrician came today. Hardwired, 220, right in there. And then my 110, got a power cord for it, run there. Almost in business. Insulators that I bought online, I'm gonna put under the feet of this thing. All right, the quarter inch drill bit was too small. So I have a three eighths. Fourteen mil. These are three eighths wedge bolts. They want it driven five inches in the ground, but I only had five inch bolts, so ah, we'll see how it goes. Nice and sturdy. All right, it's Saturday morning yesterday i went to harbor freight i went to tractor supply i went to lowe's and stared at different ways that i could do the lines i ended up just settling on copper um i don't know i've never really done this before but um i think it's not gonna be that bad so i got me a little blow torch for i have one at home but i got one for the office got a pipe cutter for the office Got some soldering kit, um, little brush to clean, got some tape, got some couplers, got some elbows. Um, I think that's going to be everything that I need. I'll show you what I have going on right here. So I'm going to dry fit everything. Uh, this shutoff valve is already on here and this was a half inch, uh, 
connection that was already on here. So I got all half inch material. Um, I set up the air dryer to be up high. That way it could drip into this little bucket I have here. And this is the intake. That's the out. So I just need to hook the tank coming to here and then going out. I'm going to run next to the electrical over there and run it out that way. We'll come over here and I'll just strap it to this pipe and it's going to end up coming out into the middle over here and straight down. So it could go through down the middle and all the way to where it hooks up. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to do it. I got to get this done somehow and I'm just going to do it the best way I, I can. All right, got some tape put on. Everything's been dry fitted for the most part, except for the long runs. And I'm ready to tighten this stuff down. All right, got this all hooked up into the, what I'm pretty sure is the end. And that one's the out on the right. So, um, it doesn't really come with a good, well, nope, this is the one for the air compressor. So yeah, this one doesn't really come with like a good manual. So, but I think that's right. All right, so I have some water soluble flux, which gets brushed onto the inside or around these fittings here. and also on the inside of this. So around here and the inside of that, and then you stick it in. And then we use the lead-free solder to go around.
<laughs> that was the worst soldering job ever. I know what I did though. I didn't let it get heated up first and started just coming off in beads rather than liquefying all the way around. But eventually it got up to temp and I think I'm good. All right, because the pipe gets so hot uh, while you're heating it up, it seemed better just to go ahead and put it all together, you know, with the flux and everything and then solder it all at once uh, rather than do it one piece at a time. All right, got it to this side, just had to zip tie it to the electrical conduit and which is gonna get extended out. I need to extend this out another three feet. So I had to go to Lowe's and get another five footer. So I'm gonna use a coupler to I'll add that on. I stopped by Harbor Freight and picked up a quick connect coupler set for half inch. I'm gonna put one of these coming off the ceiling and then I'm gonna put another one of these directly onto the press. Okay, I have it done. It's all hooked up. I guess I could try to crank this thing on. I'm a little nervous. All right, oil looks good. Oh God. Here goes nothing. Oh, might have to turn the breaker on. Got all the breakers on now. Let's see how this goes. Pretty loud. Let's see how loud it is in here. Oh, that's not bad. Just hear that running. I got the uh, shutoff valve back there turned off. So I'm gonna let the tank fill up and then I'll turn it on and see if we have any leaks. I'm up to 150 PSI, so I figured I would go ahead and just cut this off before I switch this, that way I can listen and hear for some leaks. I haven't turned this on yet either, but maybe I should do that after I get this going. Okay, it's blowing out of there, so. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so I had one air leak. I forgot to use flux on one of the fittings down here. And so I'll show you what I had. I had to cut it here and here and, and get rid of this little section. Um, I'm missing an elbow though, so I gotta go get a new elbow. Um, but I went ahead and put these back on. I will say that the one thing in haste, sort of haste, but I, I couldn't find a, um, a like junctions for being able to um, take it apart for maintenance. And I also couldn't find half inch like shut off valves, ball valves for um, putting just that into some different places just to make it easier for maintenance for this thing. But I don't really care. I just need to get these guys out here. And if I have to, I'll do what I do that did there where I, where I had to cut it and put it back together. But um, it's put together now. It's working. I've positioned the unit basically right below where the air is and where the electric is going to be. I took apart the dryer. And uh, there's the old one, there's the new one. I got it kind of in line with the, uh, that right there, with the uh, exhaust pipe that we're putting up there. And there's kind of a new look to the shop because I've taken out our old project board to open up the space a little bit more. 
Thank you guys for watching this video on the air compressor setup for the new automatic press. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit me up with that thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Take care, guys. Bye.